This is Joseph Wright with Wright's Press Washing, and here I'm talking about chemicals from Southeast Soft Wash. Here you have Wood Wizard, which is for wood, and so what you want to do is you spray on wood, and it helps brighten it up, cleans it, and you spray the board one by one for wood, so you don't splinter it, but you don't want to be too close if you're pressure washing. And so what Wood Wizard does is it's a cleaner because you're not supposed to put bleach on wood, so. That's what wizard. This is rust remedy. It is used to remove rust. It can remove rust fully if applied right. You want to let it sit for about how long? About 20 minutes. You want to let it sit for about 20 minutes to get the job done. This is dynamite degreaser from Southeast Soft Wash. It is used for oil stains. And you, whenever you have a gas station job, you want to use this or like a really black patio. That's not from mold, that's from oil, or just stains. And like all types of degreaser, you want to use it for stains and stuff like that. And Southie Soft Wash is better. This is Southern Draw. It's just a soap surfactant, and you want to use it for your batch mixing. Like when you have your manifold, you have your bleach, your soap, your water and you want to use 1 16th of a gallon or something like that. I don't know, I can't remember. And so Southern Draw is what we use and it's the best in my opinion. This is Plant Protect from Southeast Soft Wash. We have not used it yet, but we've heard good things about it. And what you want to do is you want to spray it on the plants for when you're soft washing a house or a building and like if you're doing a roof, you want to rinse, rinse, rinse. If you think you're done, rinse some more. So you don't kill the owner's plants and they get mad at you. This is Oxnox. This we have used. It is very helpful. We had a building that was very, very oxidized. You want to spray it on an oxidized building and you can see if something's oxidized by like touching it, like the paint, and if it's like chalky and white stuff comes off that's oxidized and that and people think that they just need to repaint it but you have to remove the the oxidation and so most people have to brush it off but with this you do not if you let it sit for long enough and you use a ball valve this is mud mayday it is acid based and so you use it for like red mud and stuff like that either like on brick, on concrete. And so you use it to remove the mud and you want to use it about half, 75% power. I was probably wrong about that, wasn't I?